Thank you. Another Navy warship has been hit with coronavirus. 18 sailors aboard the destroyer USS Kidd have tested positive, and the Navy says more cases are expected. This news comes as top Navy officials are recommending the reinstatement of the captain of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. He was ousted after raising the alarm about an outbreak on the aircraft carrier. CBS's David Martin has the story. The recommendation to give Captain Brett Crozier back his ship was made by the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Michael Gilday, who had ordered an investigation into the head-spinning tale of coronavirus at sea. Gilday's recommendation to reinstate Crozier, in effect, exonerates the captain for blasting out an email warning sailors would die if the Navy did not act faster to get them off the infected ship. Acting Navy Secretary Thomas Modley fired Crozier for sending his plea for help outside the chain of command. That demonstrated extremely poor judgment in the middle of a crisis um, because what it's done, it's, it's created a firestorm. Crozier, who has since tested positive for coronavirus, was cheered as he left the Roosevelt in Guam for what seemed like the last time. <laughs> Modley flew there and delivered a rant against Crozier, which antagonized some of the crew. He was, A, too naive or too stupid to be the commanding officer of a ship like this. The alternate is that he did it on purpose. That speech ignited a second firestorm, which forced Modley to resign. Afterwards, he required 24-hour security because of death threats against him. Defense Secretary Esper has not yet decided whether to accept the recommendation. Crozier remains in isolation on Guam and must test negative for the virus before he can rejoin his ship. Nora? All right.